Hello guys, it's been a long time and happy Friday I suppose. I've, what have I been doing? Well, it's been a while, I went on a holiday, I uh, stopped drinking for a while. Um, wife's orders. Um, and then it really just blended into Christmas and so I haven't done any videos. And I'm sorry. It's now 2017 and I'm back on it, back keen, getting beers made. Um, at the minute, just having this um, from Greg Hughes's book, The Bible, The Saison. And I have to say, I had a couple of issues with it stalling. I like to chuck in uh, some USO5 on top just to get it going again. But it's been in the fermenter for a week now. A fermenter. Mm. It's been in the keg for a week now. And I have to say, it is quite quaffable. Quaffa quaffable. Certainly. Yeah. Um, you can get a hint of the bananaries. Bananaries. Bananas. Um... The usual sort of um, suspects from a Belgian kind of yeast. Um, this is a Belgian saison yeast, the Y yeast 10, no 101O is the wheat beer one. Um, the, the Belgian uh, saison yeast that it says in the book. Um, obviously, then I finished it a bit cleaner with using uh, USO5, so it's not really big. But I think a lot of my problem was I ramped it right up to the 28 degrees that Greg suggested after the four days, but it was nowhere near um, doing what it should be doing at the time. But since I've done this, I've now bought this book, Five Mile Sales. It's about £13. Um, all good online retailers, bookshops, etc. Um, it it says about the fact that saisons are slow. I say, yeah. I mean, I'm, I like things done fast. I quick turnover. That's my problem. <clears throat> um, so it says that they do slow and they do ramp down and the heat keep the heat at a certain level and it will work its way out steadily over a couple of weeks or so. Um, I've been doing a few brews now, week on, week on. Um, I only have one fermentation fridge so um, I need to get them out into kegs and what I've been doing is brewing it and then when it comes to the cold crash I put them straight in a keg outside in the shed, the beer shed and that just drops them. Um, usually I've been using the USO5 which I can have a beer brewed and ready to drink so something like an IPA um, or an American Pale Ale in what a maximum of minimum of nine days I mean that's the, doing the keg shake to carbonate, the forced carbonation and such but I'm not pushing it but uh, one of those things is the fact that you're doing an IPA or pale ale where you're really hoppy and you want it as fresh as you can and so that's worked but obviously a saison's more of a, a slow mover and uh, yeah a bit rushed but I think I've got this down I'm going to have to give it another go um, I'm going to change a few things up uh, I find it a bit dark myself I mean it's nice, don't get me wrong, this is this is a little belter, I quite like this. Um, I like the, the esters etc that you get from, from a saison, uh, sort of like barna, barnyard flavours, um, the banana etc. It's good, love it. But Kel, I think it's called Kel Saison by Beaver Town. Absolutely love that stuff so that's where I'm 
want to go more. So I think I'll uh, cut down on the darker malts a bit. Uh, maybe use a bit of Pilsner malt in there with the Maris and a bit of wheat, obviously. And um, alter the hops. Um, bit more New World hops instead of um, what I used in here. I think gold ins pretty much. Although I, d I did use, um, I didn't have any Styrian gold ins I, uh, for the final um, whirlpool. That's the word. I didn't have any Styrian golds for the whirlpool, so I, I use. I think I use Centennial because um, I had it later on. I thought. Why not? Um, you can't get it on the aroma. But there's a slight tang in there in the in the taste. Um, which is good. I like that. So I might use a bit more centennial and I think I might ramp them a little bit more this next time. But I've said it's come out well, it's carved well. I started at 30 psi carving it for I think I did three or four days at that and then dropped it down to 18 for two days uh, and then down to 12 for serving and yeah it's worked out nicely. So it's good to be back Look forward to doing a few more vids and Happy New Year everyone, welcome to 2017.